Hello guys, in this video I want to show you how you can install Pop! OS on a USB drive. It will not be a live USB drive, but a full installation on a USB drive. If you are interested how to install Ubuntu or Manjaro on a USB drive, then you can find the link up there or down in the description. In the description are also all the necessary links as well as the timestamps so you can skip any part of this video. This method that I will show you in this video will only work if your system supports UEFI. And since UEFI is supported for the past decade or so, this shouldn't actually be a problem. I will also show you how you can check that. For this video we will download the ISO, we will create a live USB drive, we will boot into the live USB drive and then we will install Pop! OS on another USB drive. So yes, you will need two USB drives. The other one where we will install Pop! OS on should be a more faster one. So it should have a decent read-write speed, otherwise the whole system will be just laggy. Then once we are done, we can take the USB drive and we can use it basically on any system we want. Just plug it in and boot into Pop! OS. Since this is a full installation, you can also update the system. You can use it as you would use it on a regular hard drive. So let's get into it. I am here on the official Pop! OS website and as mentioned, all the links are down in the description. And here we want to download the LTS ISO. Let's wait for the download. Once the download is complete, we will take the ISO and then we will create a live USB drive. And therefore we need a tool called Rufus. This old school looking tool is called Rufus. This is the official website. And if you scroll down there, here is the download link. Just click it and it should download. All right, start it. This is the tool and now is the right time to plug in the first USB drive that will be used as the live USB. So plug it in. It should automatically detect the USB drive. This is the only one that I have currently plugged in. Otherwise you can choose from a list here. Now let's select the ISO. Pop OS, this is the one. Here is also the Manjaro ISO from the previous video. So if you want to know how to install Manjaro in a USB drive, you can find the link up there or down in the description. Let's go with Pop OS here. All right. Everything else should be default and just start. Now you get the warning that everything that is currently on the USB drive will be destroyed. So if you have any important stuff on there, make sure to create a backup first. But I don't have anything important on there, so I can just continue. This is okay. And now let's wait. Okay, done. We can close that. Live USB drive is ready. Now we can take that USB drive and we can boot into the live Pop! OS environment. I will assume that you already know how this works. Basically how this works, you plug in the USB drive, you restart your system, and then depending on your PC manufacturer, you press one of the function keys, F11 or F12 maybe, then you should get the boot menu where you can then select the Pop! OS live USB drive. I will do the same on my system as well, and then once I'm in the live USB drive, I will catch up with you. We are inside the live USB Pop! OS environment. Now the first thing that I will show you is how to check if the system supports UEFI. Open the file browser, other locations, computer, sys, firmware, and in here if you see the EFI folder, like in my case, then your system supports UEFI and you can use this method to install Pop! OS. Alright, we are good to go, close. Now it's the right time to plug in the second USB drive where we will install the full Pop! OS on. I will do it as well. Alright, recognized. Now we can follow the wizard. English is okay. I will just go with the defaults. All right. Now here you need to select custom and custom advanced. This here is the USB drive that I have plugged in. And down here you can see the instructions what you need to do. So you need one root partition, one boot partition with at least 500 megabytes. And it should have GPT, which stands for GUID partition table. We will see how to set this up. And then you can also have another swap partition. So let's create the partitions, go to modify. Here select your USB drive, in my case it's SDB. And now the first thing, just delete everything that's on the USB drive. Unmount and delete. So again, if you have something important on there, make sure to back up it first because everything will be deleted. All right, yes, done. Now let's go to device, create partition table. Here select GPT, apply. And now as it says down here, we need to create a boot partition, it should have 500 megabytes and it should be pad32 and a primary partition, that's okay, add. And then the second one, this will be the root partition and in my case I just want to occupy all the rest of the space. It should be a primary partition and it should be ext4, so that's okay, add and apply, yes, done. 
And now we need to tag the first one, manage flags as boot. That's okay, close. So you should see here boot and ESP. We are done partitioning. Now this screen should update as well, and it did. So the yellow one has 500 megabytes, so this will be the boot partition. Just click on it and use partition. Yes, this is the boot partition, and let's just format it as well. And the second one, use partition, should be the root partition, ext4. You can format it if you want, but I will leave it as it is. That's about it. Now click erase and install. Add the user. This will be my username. Next. And a very secure password. Next. And now just wait for the installation to finish. Finished. Now we just need to restart the device and boot into the newly installed Pop OS. And I will meet you there. Here we are inside Pop OS. This one is running on the USB drive that we previously installed. And as you can see, we already have updates. Let's click this away. Let's just go with the defaults here. That's okay. And start using Pop OS. That's about it. You can take the USB drive and you can use it basically on any machine you want. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked the video, if you like my content, then please give a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notified when I release new videos. I really appreciate it. It makes the channel grow. So thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.